I'm Rachel S. Falls Chemist and today we're going to be talking about lava lamps. Lava lamps are a type of liquid motion lamp and to understand how they work we need to understand density. Density refers to the mass of something relative to its volume. So things that are very small and heavy are considered to be dense and things that are very big and light are considered to not be very dense. You may have heard some people ask, what weighs more, a ton of feathers or a ton of lead? Now, this isn't really about weight. Both weigh one ton, they weigh the same, but lead is a very dense substance, so it would take a relatively small amount of lead to weigh one ton, but it would take a large amount of feathers to weigh a ton because feathers aren't as dense as lead. In a lava lamp, we take two materials of similar but different densities that do not mix together. Because the liquids have two separate densities, one sinks below the other. But by changing the density of one of the liquids, we can make the liquid that was previously more dense less dense than the other liquid. In lava lamps, we do this using heat. In a lava lamp, the two liquids are water and a mixture of paraffin and oil. The paraffin and oil is more dense than the water, so it normally sinks to the bottom. And when the lava lamp is off, it actually looks quite solid. But by applying heat energy from a light bulb, we can actually begin to heat up the paraffin and oil mixture and change its density, making it less dense. So it will rise up through the liquid to the top, and then as it cools down, it will begin to fall. Heat isn't the only way we can do this. We can also use a gas, which is what we will do to make our own lava lamps using the S4 Science Delivery Box. From my lava lamps kit, I am going to need a bottle of oil, a small bottle of food coloring, and two denture tablets. You will also need some cold tap water. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open the bottle of oil and top it up with some tap water. Now, you could just leave it like this, but to make things a bit more interesting, we're going to add a few drops of food colouring as well. So to help mix things up, we're just going to give this a little swirl to help the water and the food colouring mix together. Now, if you leave this settle, you will notice you have two separate layers. You have your yellow oil layer, and your green water layer. Looking at this, you can tell that water is more dense than oil because the water layer is at the bottom. So we are gonna change the density of our water layer by adding a gas. To add a gas, we're gonna add, add a denture tablet. Now the ingredients of a denture tablet means that when it mixes with water, it fizzes, it's effervescent. This is because a neutralization reaction takes place. So take the lid off your oil again and break your denture tablet into small pieces so it can fit through the mouth of the bottle. Once you've broken it up, you can add it in and put the lid back on the bottle. So you can already see the gas starting to form and as the gas forms, you can see the bubbles coming up through the oil and bringing the water with it. So we have made the water lighter than the oil, so it shoots up to the top. And once the gas is released, it comes back down to the bottom. So that's how you make a lava lamp. Now you may have noticed we've provided you with two denture tablets, but the experiment only needed one. Once your reaction has stopped, why not try breaking your denture, denture tablet up in a different way to how you originally did? You could crush it or you could put bigger pieces in instead of smaller 
and see what happens to the reaction in your lava lamp. Thank you for watching. I've been Rachel and today we've been learning about lava lamps. I hope you've enjoyed this experiment and the S4 Science Delivery Box.